scientific temper is a is a process which makes you think and which also makes others think you have some postulate rather i i come out with a theory i give it to somebody else they'll also start thinking about it they say ah, no 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 you're wrong then you challenge them that prove me wrong prove me that i'm wrong you get into those constructive debates and when you do the debate you are exchanging your thoughts encourage those constructive logical evidence based discussions and debates that will help you a lot in improving your scientific temper and your thinking abilities let's talk about the questioning i spoke about it earlier if you remember these are the only questions you need to know and we already know why what when where how how and who why not how come these are additional questions you may ask why is this needed is because you need to know who said it you need to know what they said for example we have a lot of scientists i will talk about it in the further series they said something just because somebody who's a scientist says it doesn't mean it is always true it is true to the limited knowledge that they have applied on that particular context i can expand it beyond that where did it happen where is it relevant when was it relevant is it relevant even today for example pythagoras theorem is it relevant now probably it was uh, it was suggested more than 200 300 years back is it relevant today yes can you disprove it please go ahead why was it even told probably there was a reason there is a reason that we need that today why find out and how is it useful how is it going to help me you ask the questions you will only get your answers so inculcate this habit of asking these questions on any of the topic any of the subject any of the chapter that you have in your syllabus and outside your syllabus also once you start getting all of this in your head you'll start thinking and then you will gain the necessary knowledge and the wisdom going forward that is what is important in today's day and stem education or steam education actually helps you in inculcating all of these basic habits so let me just finish off with this your scientific temper needs to have a little bit of critical thinking i have already told you critical thinking and when i talk about thinking it is about answer uh, seeking answers so ask questions logic build a lot of logic logic is nothing else but evidence based there it goes so when i have evidence the logic automatically comes in when i have the questioning the logic automatically comes in so all of this is are actually interconnected you need to have that objectivity one of the questions that came in, came up was that is it only 4 or 5% of the ocean is explored that is objective very very objective now that brings in focus that brings in the scope of my evidence and logic and critical thinking otherwise i'll go all over and i'll have an open mind when i am doing a lot of evidence based learning when i am doing a lot of objective based learning i need to have that open mind these are all simple traits that we all have i'm not saying we don't have i'm just bringing about it in front of you so that you know and from henceforth you will start using it deploying it and applying it in every act every interaction every questioning session every debate everything that goes in your mind skepticism always look at anything and everything with an eye of suspicion for you to be having the right scientific temper suspicion is not negativism you need to have some skepticism in terms of is it really true is it really happening that way prove it to me convince me that is where i have the skepticism i'm not saying it is negativism negativism will ruin your scientific temper be always positive and then perseverance what is perseverance i will not leave it 
I will not leave it midway. I will take it to the logical conclusion. If I have, if I have got on a mission of getting my timetable of the week documented with activities and the time spent, and then I want to do the analysis. You should not leave it even after two, three, four weeks. Perseverance. It will. It will bring about a lot of change in you. You will develop the STEM education within you automatically. So even before you become an engineer, you start thinking like an engineer, right? So inculcate these habits. These are simple habits, and these things are not taught in school or colleges. This is self-taught. And what we are doing today is opening up your horizon. Okay, so. Question everything. I leave you with this. That you need to question everything. It is not just the question which comes in your exam that you need to answer. No, you need to question every answer that comes to you, whether it is true or false. Not MCQ or not match the following or not true or false. Not that. It is for convincing yourself. That's where your scientific temper would play a role. And this method is what you need to deploy. observe observe and observe it will improve your focus it will improve your concentration it will improve your thinking when you observe you question a lot why is the color of orange orange why is the color of apple always red or oh, now we have green apples also or oh, probably yellow apples also or oh, probably going forward we may have blue apples also what is it that changes the color of the apple skin question Come out with your hypothesis. Hypothesis is, it is a theory which you think is what it is. May not be true. It may be false also. May not be correct. It may be proven wrong also. Doesn't matter. On your hypothesis, you do a lot of experimentation, and through the experimentation, the result of the experimentation is your conclusion, and you take the result out for debate, and then you keep changing. So this cycle. keeps repeating itself for every action that you will take for every interaction that you do for every subject that you learn for every topic of your interest for every concept that you would be learning whether it is concept of grammar whether it is concept of uh, concept in geography or whether it is a concept in science or in mathematics everything else becomes applied i will expand my knowledge of basic things to creating something new going forward so i end my presentation here if there is time we will take up questions otherwise my presentation is over and i would want to open it up for questions yes There is also a question from uh, Ayush Patel. Time travels fast or slow? Okay, this is very very subjective. Time travels fast when I'm occupied, and time travel travels slow when I don't do anything. <laughs> That was on a lighter side. Time is a concept. Stephen Hawkins has done a lot of research on time. of course he has done a lot of research on a lot of things so the concept of time he tries to explain through time and space both are difficult concepts to actually comprehend understand and apply but yes as i told you earlier i am still not convinced on time travel so that's a different uh, aspect i will not be uh, able to so any light beyond what i just spoke but yes time travels fast or slow is a very subjective question uh i necessarily don't understand where you are coming from but as a perception what i what i said was true if i'm busy i will not have time i'll say oh my goodness time flies but if i'm not doing anything i'm not busy i'm winding away my time it's like oh my goodness it's only 2 hours is it i thought it is already 4 hours so it's a perception yeah okay so there is one more uh, question i'll take it up 
how can one develop stem related skills during school phase itself oh yes that's exactly what i covered so the only only thing you need to start the first step is to start questioning start questioning everything and anything that comes to you not just try to figure out the answer to the question but i'm saying question the question itself how why why not how come when it happened then is it is it true even today right and stuff like that what's bermuda triangle's mystery oh wow okay bermuda triangle is again a concept of course they have evidence and they have proved it also so through a concept they have built a hypothesis and they have given evidences of saying that it's a dangerous place within some square kilometer of area wherein if any of the ship goes it sinks there have been evidences of planes flying over it and crashing and drowning so there is something scientific about it there is nothing black magic about it it is all scientific it is probably because of the earth gravitational force being the highest there i don't know i'm just opening up for you to go and figure out or is it because of the various different ocean uh, currents that is leading to a low depression area which sucks anything and everything that comes within that within that range or probably the aqua life is so strong that it is emitting gases which is creating a vacuum which engulfs everything inside it i don't know it could be any of this it could be all of this it could be a combination of this or it could be something beyond this right explore good questions i am happy that you are all asking these questions this proves that you have scientific temper keep improvising on it one aircraft came out of it and it traveled the distance in half of the time and fuel probably yes probably there is no gravity there that's why probably boom it goes or will it go if there is no gravity i don't know figure out yes probably this may be news but has it been proved look out for scientific proof for anything and everything that comes in the news don't believe all the news that comes to you especially these days it's all about fake it's all about creating that hysteria it's about creating that panic so as students of stem i'll not say science or mathematics i'm saying stem which includes your critical thinking logic reasoning problem solving skills and all of it i'll need that for uh, for science uh, i'll need it for uh, commerce i'll need it for arts i'll need it for everybody so stem actually encompasses everything so find out when was this which was that one aircraft and why is it that only one aircraft could do it and why not many aircrafts and if that is the case probably i should have that route which will save my time and save my fuel also wonderful why why are not many going there probably there are both sides of the coin as a scientific temperament for any one of us i need to see from both the sides i need to see from all the sides 360 degree thinking so start inculcating this and in the next session we will talk about the job opportunities that you would all have when you have these basic things addressed okay uh, mudassir sayed he is asking sir what about time travel in time loop possible again uh, time travel is again a concept i am not an authority but probably in the next session i will try to come out with some points time loop again is a concept we will have to look at it uh, so probably you've been watching a lot of uh, a lot of movies and lot of uh, documentaries and lot of fiction uh, sitting at home uh, netflix uh, sony live probably jl50 is what is prompting all of you with this question good we will have to figure out we will have to find answers so i open this up for all of you to start exploring on all these questions that are lingering in your mind find out the answer and probably next time 
in the next session we could have probably last 10 minutes or we can extend it by 10 more 10 minutes to have all of this addressed okay